Hello. Gays are good people. My wife's a fag hag, and I've been ensconced in a giant bucket of homos for at least the past 15 years. And they don't really talk about politics. They talk about furniture, mostly. And fashion and Madonna comes up a lot. But I think people who don't know a lot of homos are treated to the very, very worst of the bunch. I think that uh, the ones who got Brendan Eich fired, they, uh, they give Moe's a bad name. And you get a distorted view of gays. You think that they're really annoying and they, they are obsessed with acronyms. But that's, I was gonna, I'm going to say, is maybe 4 to 5% of gays. And half of them are posers. Half of them are lugs, lesbians until graduation, just going through their college phase. So here is what I think might be actual gays reacting to the gays that we all get in the media. And they're trying to parse, they're trying to uh, understand the latest acronyms and all the stupid jargon that they come up with. And I think it's good evidence of what society would be like if we let the left be in charge of themselves. <laughs> It would be like Iran after 1979. They make it way worse. They don't even know how many genders they want to have. They know they wanted more than two, but the once that we let the the horse bolt, it just hasn't ended. But anyway, play this video. I'm hoping this is funnier. What is? Oh my lord, have mercy. I've never seen all of that extraterrestrial stuff. It looks like an award. <laughs> L-G-B-T-T-Q-Q-I-A-A-P. <laughs> can you just pause it here? Can you shrink it a little bit so I can see it better? Does it, when this acronym was conceived, did the people who wrote it, did they really want us to start using it? It's like a weird Russian last name. It's like we're reading a Dostoevsky novel. I, I can't be expected. Honestly, I can't be expected to remember that. Isn't the acronym itself proof that you don't really want what you say you want? Aren't you really, I mean, come on. I can't even remember it if I close my eyes. Look, I'll look at it now. L-G-B-T-T-Q-Q-A-I, I can't even remember it for one second. All right, play it. Okay. Do, you, do, do you want me to try and, okay. And by the way, can you just also pause it? Hey, LGs, drop everything else. Bisexual people are lying, okay? There's no such thing as bi. That's just a horny person. T are mentally ill, I've made that very clear many times, and they're bad for your movement because they're all over the map. You don't, I was talking to some gay dude who does cruises, and he said, we do a, a cruise for, for um, transgendered. Like, what? That cruise must be a fucking nightmare. I don't think even transgendered people want to be around transgendered people. I don't know if they're even gay or not. So I think the acronym should just be LG, and lesbians and gays, you know, they, they, go, they don't really hang out together that much. If you go to a party, it's not like tons of lesbians and gays. But at least they sort of have the same kind of thing. Like, we can party all night. We don't have kids. Uh, we can be workaholics. We could work like a 70-hour week and then a no-hour week. So that makes sense. BT, that just has to go. Dump that alphabet soup down the toilet. All right. Gay, yes. Gay, bisexual, transgender. Boy, British gays are even gayer than our gays, aren't they? I'm guessing the other T's. I didn't know there were two T's. Look at that. Just pause there. You've got a tranny going, I didn't know there were two T's. Why do we have to be more well-versed on your culture than you? <laughs> it's like when black keeps changing to African-American and it was Negro and now it's person of color. I wonder how many blacks are on board with that. I know personally Indians who uh, are not up to date with the latest ones. They all say Indian, and then they get told Native American. They go, ah, I'll stick to Anchor Baby, thanks. It's faster to say. I'll stick to Indian. Transsexual. God, I hate all these dumb terms. You know, we weren't like this when we were punk. We didn't say, uh, the exploited or chaos punks, they want uh, anarchy to be chaotic. But crass, they're not chaos punks. They, are, they want anarchy and peace. They want a communal type of an anarchy. It's a very different, it's more of an Emma Goldman anarchy. Whereas Wadi from the exploited, uh, he just wants to burn shit down. And we would appreciate it as crass fans. You didn't lump us in with the exploited, okay? I'm an anarcho punk. I thought you want to be weird. The whole point of being punk is like, I'm not telling you about my shit. We have some cool, weird stuff going on. That's what gays should be. And trannies, I mean, come on. Q. One of the cues has got to be queer, right? <laughs> what the fuck is queer? Questioning. Okay, I hate those two cues. I just started, uh, starting right now, I am 
Q-phobic. If you're queer, I don't like you. I like lesbians. I like gays. What the, what does queer mean? You're weird? What are you, what are skinheads queer? Is a Nazi queer? I mean, that is weird. Richard Spencer is very unusual. He's queer. What the hell does that mean? Who calls himself queer? Hi, I'm weird. I don't fit in a box. Shut up, fuck. I don't care about you and your box. And then even more absurd is questioning. Questioning. You think that's a persona? Hi, I'm questioning. How did we get here? Questioning is probably the most ridiculous thing that is in society right now to say that I'm questioning. And I thought atheists were annoying. Oh, Lord knows how mad I'm going to get when we get to I. What's that, an invertebrate? Question Who isn't questioning? Hi, I'm curious. Oh, what is I? I don't know what the I is. Indifferent? <laughs> um, intersex. Intersex? What the fuck is that, a worm? Wait a minute, why do we just gla glaze over intersex? Intersex? That means that I have a penis and a vagina? Oh, you mean all two people in the world who are hermaphrodites? And you know, that's not a thing. Say you were cursed and you had a penis and a vagina. You're a freak. I'm sorry to hear about what happened to your genitals. You don't get to be part of a movement. You and the other two guys, what, you go on a parade? A two-person parade? What do you want? Different rights? You want a special kind of urinal? How do they urinate, by the way? Does pee come out of both the vagina and the penis? That must be a mess. You're a mess. You don't get to be on an acronym. What if races did this? Hi, I'm a race. What race? Oh, I'm the I in the B C B A L C I Indian. I'm just one of the many things. Why are you all a cohesive group anyway? Because we're all hated by Nazis. Yeah, so we're Spaniards. Oh, <sighs> keep going. Intersex. I don't know what that means. I don't want to know what that means. I don't fucking care. I don't even care that you're gay. A gender. A gender. I'm not a gender. Ally. Okay, so allies, just stop here. Allies are people who don't hate gays. Okay, so what, 99% of the population? Uh, not in the Middle East, not in Africa, but here in the West where we're civilized, I'm going to say about 99.5% of people don't hate gays and are allies. Who, who hates gays? Matthew Shepard was murdered by homophobes. No, that was uh, drug dealers that wanted his money. It was a meth fight. Sorry, that was drug addicts. Yes, but there's so much homophobia. We need more allies. No, we don't. Look, this is what happens when we get too many allies. I can't point in reverse. We end up, this is allies, okay? Untenable acronyms. That's what you get when you listen to brats. Just go be gay. No one cares where your dink goes. Let me tell you about my dink and my sexual preferences. Gross. I don't want to hear about what you're up to. That's disgusting. Actually, what I like to do is, below my waist, I'm straight, so I have sex, but then I have boobs, and I like to rub them in a the face, and then have, like, three other people licking my ear holes. Okay, do that. Lock the door when you do that. I don't want it illegal, but I don't want to hear about it. And don't make it your identity. I thought people who define themselves as weed smokers were annoying. People who define themselves by how they come is just downright gross. No one cares. Keep going. Pansexual. How ugly is that guy? <laughs> Pansexual. Very good. Well, there's a lot to remember. Have you noticed how ugly everyone is? Oh, she's hot. Yep, that confuses me. Okay, he's I okay. Someone that doesn't identify as any of them might be um, somewhat confused by what that. Yeah, means. I'm confused. I'm confused why you want me to give a shit about what you are. So the last one was polyamorous, meaning you like to have sex with lots of people. That's the same as being horny. That's the same as being a person. You see, the reason there's seven billion of us is because God made sure we were horny enough to go more than one generation. But you're letting it define you? Look, folks, I know homos. They are not even close to this annoying. And as we just saw, when they are confronted by their own ridiculous dogma, they don't even believe this shit. I am done listening to these lunatics. They don't represent anyone. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Rebel Edge, where you can find all the videos that are exactly like this one, but different.